What's up guys? Merry Christmas to all my subscribers and viewers. And today we're going to be taking a look at Creo Transformers Street Showdown. Now of course, like we always do for tradition, with every video review we always look at the packaging. And this box is amazing. The detail that they put into this box. The Dark Energon weapon piece. I'm hoping to build it soon if I don't get all the uh, Creo sets. Of course my brother and I share them. Except for this one, this one is officially mine. Uh, Creo Transformers on the side. You got Wheeljack and Knockout. You got Wheeljack on the side here. It's a really big box in my, my place that I do videos here. It's not that big uh, to actually look at the box. Really nice picture of Wheeljack and his vehicle and robot mode. And take a look at the vehicle modes because as you already saw at the beginning, I always build them in robot modes and I keep them in robot modes. Now, if you want to see the vehicle modes built and everything, go to Mitch Santona's video and take a look at the uh, vehicle modes in there. Now, of course, they do come with the blue Energon bodies for Wheeljack. I don't bother building that. And then, of course, you do come with a couple of caution cones and a, and a street thing. I don't have that out right now, so go ahead and watch Mitch Santona's review, like I said, if you want to see that. But if you want to see everything clear, go ahead and stay here because now we got Creons coming up right now. Now, the first Creon we're going to take a look at is the bad guy Creon, and they do got little helmets here. I was going to take it off, that way you can kind of see his face. And, of course, you can put it on, and he has working goggles. And then, of course, he has the little knife that he looks like he, he could gut you with right on the spot. I mean, that is a lot of, you know, stuff in it. And then, of course, then we come to the good guy, which has a nice little inviting smirk on his face. He has mean eyebrows, though. Eh. Then of course, like the like uh, the bad guy, he has working visor thing, and this guy he has a gun. So before, so before this guy could even bother gutting him right at the spot, he could just shoot him. And he's gone. Now we're going to be taking a look at Wheeljack, which I really do like in Creon form. And when you take the helmet off, I mean, that is what Wheeljack could be doing underneath his face. I mean, underneath his mouth guard is always smiling. I like it, and I do like the little blue blasts. I really do like those. Now we come to Knockout here, which there's his little smirk that he always got. His little mean, because he's an evil scientist. Really nice, uh, you know, stuff on the design, design and detail on the chest. Really do like the purple weapon, the purple uh, staff zappy thingy that they got going in Transformers Prime. I really do like that they're taking Creo and putting them in Transformers Prime form. Now, I'm going to angle the camera up a bit, that way we can see these a little better. First, we're going to be taking a look at Wheeljack, and for the articulation, we got a ball joint up here at the head, ball joint here at the waist, we got a ball joint here, we got a ball joint here, we got individually articulated fingers, ball joint there, ball joint there, ball joint there, everywhere that you would want a ball joint, so you should, you should and you could get really, really good poses out of Wheeljack, and I, I just... Look at that face. Look at it, and then the Autobot symbol. Oh, now the back, of course, does have kibble on it, like uh, Miss Santona did say about. Other than that, I'm really digging Wheeljack. Then we come to Knockout. Now, before I get on to Knockout, I know Miss Santona said about you know the heads being up a little high. They don't bother me as much on Wheeljack. Now, Knockout is a little bit of a different story. There's a detail on his legs. And yeah, I, I really do like the engine block that they decided to put on here. They also did have the Optimus Prime one, which will be my next Creo set review. And of course, the wheels back here on his arms, and someday I'll make a video where I'll customize this and put them up here where they belong. I will be doing that. Now for articulation, same as Wheeljack. Ball joint here. Ball joint there, ball joint there, ball joint there, ball joint here, ball joint there, individually articulated fingers, and, and ball joint there, so all ball joints in the right spots. Really am digging this guy, and then plus he has a friction missile, so then of course you could fire it, and it doesn't fire that well, and I have no, I have no idea where that just went, so I'm gonna go ahead and look for it real quick, and... Okay, that didn't take too long. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. And they actually put a spring in, in here. So it's 
for some reason it still doesn't fire well. But I really do like the headlights on this. Oh, just so, so cool. And, you know, the, the detail just amazes me. It amazes me what Hasbro did Legos to build them into Transformers. Except they don't fully transform, though. That's the downside. So, price on this guy, probably looking around 20 bucks, maybe, for both of these busty, awesome Creons that I have here. Um, and do I recommend it? Yes, I do, big time. And, of course, if you haven't looked, look at look at that. That, that is Knockout. It, I, oh, I just love these guys so much. Go out and buy them as soon as you see them. This is awesome, guys. Merry Christmas. I'll be coming up with another video, and I'll talk to you guys later.